<gasps> Jason! Chris is off to bed. No, guys, please sit. We're gonna get married. What are you doing, Chris? But, oh, toddlers. Toddlers! Hey, my little kitchenies. Welcome back to another episode of my Not So Buried Challenge in the little cute house that, like, I was noticing because I don't like uploading this without checking your guys' like, feedback and response from the last game. And I noticed, I noticed, not everyone likes the house, which I find very heartbreaking because I know it's kind of weird and wonderful, but you guys are like, oh, I just move out and get a new one. But, like, no! I want to keep adding to it. I feel like this is, like, my work of art and I want to keep improving the house, okay? So, please don't be hating on my cute little house, you know? It's like an achievement because we've built it slowly over time, which I think is very cute. So, one thing I realized is it is really poorly lit at night time, so I feel like we need to up the cuteness of the house. I also have plans for this episode. I was waiting to see what you guys were saying in the last episode, like I said, because I really just like to get your um, feedback on everything. I feel like we're kind of collaborative with this series, so I always like to check the comments before I film the next video. And you guys are pretty down for these guys getting married. In fact, I would say you guys are pretty big on these guys as a couple altogether, which I think is super, super cute. So I will be getting them married in today's episode. I do need to try and like save enough monies to do a nice wedding. What I was thinking is we could do a bit of a two in one. We could, um, oops, sorry, microphone, please stay still. Thanks, babes. Thank oh, okay, there we go. No, stop turning. I was thinking if we decide to get married in our own garden, then it makes sense to develop the garden as well. So it's a bit of a two-in-one dealio, okay? So in today's episode, we will aim to both improve the garden and also make the house look a bunch prettier as well. So if you guys are excited, please go ahead and give this video a cheeky little thumbs up. Of course, to improve the house, we do need to make sure we're earning a little bit more money. We also have the two girls who I think will make absolutely adorable um, little flower girls for the wedding as well as long as they don't decide to ruin it all by frame paint everywhere and don't forget if you want to keep watching this series make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video okay it is tuesday it is 3 a.m chris babes what are you doing up in the night you need yourself a little wee oh you have to go all the way downstairs for a wee because we don't have a toilet upstairs okay fair enough once these girls become teenagers this might become an issue so i'm kind of thinking i may extend out this way and build as a little toilet here might have to do that but like i said we're low on money in fact I just spend almost a thousand pound on lights. So it will be probably a next episode type dealio because I'm focusing on garden vibes today, which means, Chris, I need you to earn money. You got a promotion last episode, which is fantastic. I need you to have some breakthroughs. You're actually all awake and ready to go. So oh. <laughs> I, I forgot, forgot we don't have a cooker. cooker. Oh, oh, oh. I totally forgot we don't have a cooker because Chris died fire in the last episode. That was just not ideal, Chris. Not ideal at all, was it? Chris also has elements of his own. Could he have some of the ones we need? We've definitely already got the gooby one, but what about this one? Meliku. Oh, that would have been really handy. Okay, let's just sell them then. In fact, I'm gonna try and sell as much as I can because I need the money, you know? When she wakes up, I'll get her to open all those. We still have our voodoo doll, which is Bands of Chris, but we just tell our voodoo doll how much we love it every now and again. It's a Q doo doll, like, because it's cute and it's voodoo, so. Q doo doll. And man, I am gonna need to come across some money pretty quickly because I am low. I am low on cash. I can sell the Christmas tree and the decorations because we're not gonna need those for a while. But honestly, I need money fast because tomorrow is valentine's day and it just makes sense to get married on valentine's day you know it's just a vibe <gasps> look i've got another one of these posters i don't need two so i can sell that <gasps> cloning machine and a pc oh it feels so cheaty. Like, I don't like to cheat the system in this way. Like, I just don't feel good doing this, but I do have a four grand laptop and a cloning machine. I don't know. I also feel like, though, if I am a scientist, then, you know, it's not like I'm just, oh, oh I can't clone that. <gasps> okay, I can't clone that anyway, which honestly, I low-key don't mind because it did feel too cheaty. However, if she is a scientist, I should probably make full use of like scientist type vibes, you know? Why are you feeling depressed? Don't ever grow up. He wants them to stay his little bubbly roos forever, but it's so annoying. <laughs> Chris face, what is wrong with you? They're super annoying when they're babies. Like, really? He's having a full-on boo-hoo about it. He really doesn't want them to grow up. Look at him. He's like, I like babies. Teenagers are so hard. I don't want those. 
is. Oh, even the dishwasher's out. Have you got good repair skill? I don't want you to just like die. No, you don't have any good repair skill. You leave that alone. I'll handle that. You just feed, feed everyone. <gasps> in fact, everything's broken. Why is absolutely everything in this house broken? Like, seriously? I can't even get it all fixed because I need the money and I'm uncomfortable. Nauseous from being on my pe- Oh, okay. Uh, it is love day. It is love day. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to get money quickly. Like, I meant to have work in four hours. I really want to get married on love day though. Oh, how are we gonna fit all of this in? You guys said I can buy pads and stuff just in like here. Oh, <gasps> heroes. Okay, pads and- Oh, okay, brilliant. Let's pop that in the bathroom. There's nowhere to pop it, so we'll just pop it on here. Brilliant. I can at least get her, like, after she's had a little shower, of course. But she won't go into work feeling all gross today. Which is nice, because I've done that to her way too many times. And it's not fun for her at all. Okay, so I can get her to... <gasps> nice! Okay, that is super helpful. <gasps> the kids are off to their expensive daycare. <laughs> Oh, and they're off to it all stinky as well. Look how unhappy she looks. However, it's spring now, so they wear their little cute dresses, which is nice. And then if I got anything in... I'm gonna just open and like... Wait, don't voodoo doll sell for quite a lot. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes. I can get money from this. And okay, we've also got bills to pay and they've shut down our power. <gasps> Does that mean I can't use a cloning machine? Please no, please no, please no. <gasps> and Rose can now talk. Oh my gosh, this is why we're sending them to the expensive school, guys. There's a method to the madness. Okay, and look, I'm cloning my voodoo doll. This again feels very wrong. Like I'm low-key starting a voodoo doll selling business. However, look, and they're all bound to Chris. I'm just selling a bunch of voodoo dolls bound to Chris. This does not feel wise. But look, I can sell that for 700 pounds. Okay, Minzy, we're gonna join. So let's go ahead and join Minzy. And then after work tonight, we need enough money to build a cute garden to have a cute midnight wedding with toddlers. Again, they don't go together very well, but I have to work in the day. So I've got to work with what I've been given. So I just need to converse about aliens. Okay, about aliens. I'm gonna say, don't make me talk to aliens today because I just need to get my bread and then go home. Okay, it's not that deep. It's not that deep today. Oh, look at her putting her own little pads in. Cute. Work on your little rocket. Also, I noticed in the comments, you guys, you guys really like Scarlet. Like, I'm still waiting to see how they grow up. I don't really have a preference right now that they're both fine. They're both toddlers, so they're both annoying. Like, it doesn't really get any deeper than that for me. However, ooh, hive mine the neighborhood. Okay, let's do a neighborhood a hive mine of happiness because I'm getting married today, so you guys should be happy for me, you know? But yeah, you guys seem pretty fond of Scarlet, oh, which is cute. Why are my kids at home? <laughs> we ain't. How are their little skills doing? <gasps> Look at this. This is why you're sending them to the private daycare. Look at them skills. And they've still got... They're not even halfway through their lives and they're so skilled. I love that. They're gonna be little brain boxes. And I am absolutely sailing through my daily tasks today. I just want to get that bread, you know? I'm still really lagging behind though with a lifetime aspiration. This level 10 mischief skill. Just because honestly, I don't really enjoy the mischief part. It's just not for me. I've kind of realized. I made that last time, didn't I? Is that momentum conserver? Yeah, it is. I don't even know what to do with it, but I have one. Oh, look at her. She wants to woohoo with Christopher. What? What a baby. I do really miss him working with me. Big sad. That's the saddest part of him moving in. But at least he looks after my kids. And we got some turquoise and... Ooh, Joan Quillist. That feels special and new. Okay, we'll send that off when we get home. And I finished working 45 minutes. I'm not staying late tonight. I've got to get married. It's important. However, I feel like I'm really close to promotion. Just please, please give me a promotion. <gasps> Yes! Okay, we got promoted. We got £1,700 for that. Including our work date. We also got a new window and a new door. Okay. <gasps> I'm a UFOologist. I feel like this is really maximizing my chances of being abducted. Which I definitely don't want. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's love day. And I want to celebrate love day with a wedding. Like, we've had pretty amazing days. Like, that have lined up with real life holidays so far. Because we had the kids on Christmas. And like, I just want to continue that. I want to continue the good vibes with the good dates. Anna is really dark. Like, why is it so dark? Okay, why? Christopher has turned back into a monster again. He got paid. Not a great deal. Why didn't you get promoted today? Oh, because you'd have enough breakthroughs. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I'm gonna send all of these off to the Geo Council. I'm gonna get to open all these so I can sell them. We're gonna sell the extra voodoo doll. Send forged breakup letter. <gasps> Sabotage someone else's romance. <gasps> I didn't realize you could do that. Oh my gosh, that's so harsh. They'll probably hate you. Oh. <gasps> 
I kind of low-key want to try it because does it count as a prank? However, it's so harsh. I can't do that. That's way too harsh. <gasps> collection complete! The elements collection! No freaking way! <gasps> Your sim has discovered all the elements! No way! That's the first part. That's the part of what I have to do as mint berry sim. Which one is it? I'm just going to put all of them in and see which one it is. Eh? There's got to be one. There's a hole. There's a gap. Which one is missing? It won't let me place any. But I definitely have a missing gap. That's so weird. Because apparently I've got them all, but there's a gap. I'm really annoyed by that. I'm going to sell all these ugly dolls because I hate them. And I'm going to clone this one last time so I can get one more of these, which I can sell. Okay. And now we're going to do the garden. We're going to do the garden and make a cute garden slash wedding venue. So let's make it daytime. There we go. And okay, here's my little garden. Here's my little garden. Which art should I get? Wait, it's mint. I should try and aim for green vibes, right? None of these are very green. <laughs> it's in a garden and that this has green on it. I mean, the whole garden's going to be green because, you know, garden. And this is just slowly reminding me of just how much I hate weddings and sims um, because they never really go right. Let's face it. They're always just in incredibly stressful, but we're gonna do it all the same. Man, I wanted to put a pond in their garden, but I didn't realize how freaking huge they are. What are you gonna be so big for? It would look cute though, but just obnoxiously huge. Oh, I don't really want to get married next to that. Oh no. What about if I do it this way and I put the pond like here? Okay, because look, that's so cute with the pond behind it. I need to try and like cover because the neighborhood ain't that cute. Like that's cute, but then it's got this ugly like fence around it. So I need to try and like hide the non-cute factors of the neighborhood. <gasps> I think I think as well, Chris will love this because his aspiration is fishing. So he'll be like, oh my gosh, you made me a pond. I love you so much more, even though I already love you so much. So this is kind of like my wedding gift to him. It's like a place where he can ivory and money. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna sell the four grand laptop. I'm sorry, I just am. I have to. I know I said I'd save it for my kids, but I don't know. Maybe their parents being married can be their new present. Once we finish with using this lot as like a wedding, by the way, we can put little toddler stuff out here. Ah, and I've run out of money again. Nobody got anything. Wasn't I meant to get a door? Or does it just mean I can place the door? Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna need you to sell a final voodoo, please. You're very happy from being loved from a one snuggle. So that's cute. Wait, I can sell all these replicas as well. I know I've been keeping these, but it's more important for us to get married at this point. Another a thousand pounds to spend. Yes. Because I need to light it as well. That's what I realized. I was looking at it in the daytime and it looks all cute, but I'm going to have to light it for an evening. I still want to hide this because it just ain't ideal. Also, I should probably have a back door. Okay, it's just getting more and more expensive, isn't it? I can't afford it. Oh, okay. Just, just. Just two more Chris Voodoo dolls. Just two. Just two, two, two or three. Jason, you're going to be coming over to hang out anyway because I'm getting married whenever I can get around to it. I did call it the midnight wedding. So, you know. Also, I put a bunch of flowers at the front of the house too. It's looking way cuter. We're getting there, gang. We are getting there. Sell that. Do it with another one, please. I feel really worried that I'm sending all of these cloned Voodoo dolls of Chris into the world. I feel like Chris is just going to be giggling for the rest of his life. As long as he's happy. As long as he's happy, I'm happy. This definitely feels like a cheaty way to make money though oh no oh that didn't work oh no what is this rudimentary matter okay that is just not ideal okay i think that's the game telling us that that that's it no more no more please you've gone too far so all i can do now really is light it which luckily i have these little 20 dollar jars that i can put fairy lights in and it looks vibey and cute and they're cheap that's looking cute it's still not really bright enough though i feel like i'm not gonna be able to see a great deal i need something a bit taller but also still with a whimsical vibe i do have these little lights these ones are technically like green which is very mint vibes i hope it doesn't mess with them getting married and it doesn't interfere i can put some in this bush as well and it just adds a bit more lighting i don't know i think it's kind of a jam how does it look when i come out of here okay i think that's nice lighting and it was fairly cheap which means i should get more stuff okay i've got a little board to welcome guests and also we'll put the cake on here and i feel like we're good to go maybe a little green lantern mm -mm, it's not really green but you get my drive and i'll move the ipod outside as well so we can have some romantic music and i feel like we're done little cute oh i I hate that I can see this dude's house. I'm like, I think we're done. No, we're not. I need a tree, please. Okay, now we are truly spent up, but we're done. And we've got ourselves a cute little wedding venue. Okay, okay, okay. Chris, 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 Chris. Oh, we can't make a cake because we don't have an oven. Can I buy a cake? Can I order a cake? No, you can't do that, can you? Although I don't understand why, because that to me makes perfect sense. How can I make money quickly? How can I make money quickly? Oh my gosh, this is not going to be enough. This is not going to be enough. This is not going to be enough. Oh, we're going to get £2,700. We're not going to be able to have a cake, are we? We're not going to be able to have a cake at our own wedding. Great. The good thing is the toddlers, the 
toddlers are okay. They do just be vibing though, so I'm gonna go pick an outfit. And is it a bit much to get married in a green dress? Some may say so, but I kind of want to do this for all of them. All of them have the dress that represents their like generation. Although it's a bit Tinkerbell. <laughs> it is a bit Tinkerbell. Also, it's like lime green. I need mint green. This could be tough. Okay, we may need a new plum. I mean, that is kind of mint green. That might actually work. It's very gently green. It's not like in your face green. Oh. That one could work too. Or that. Is it a bit more turquoise? I don't know, but it's kind of the color she's been wearing this whole time. So I feel like it's right. Also, it looks great with her post-pregnancy boobs. So I'm kind of thinking that. Maybe with a little swept back hair. Or with this, she's had that before too. Okay, I've tried like a million hairs on her. I can't decide what kind of style to go for. I kind of like that. And I also kind of like that. This one, you see her like the detailing along the top really nicely. I don't know, like, it is a wedding, but it's also a relaxed garden wedding, so I don't think she needs to go too OTT. That might give her some red lips, because it looks cute. <gasps> Pretty. Okay. And I think we'll do that for her wedding look. With some little flowers. Ah! There's no green ones, which kind of sucks, so I'm just going to go for white ones. Okay, and then she's done. And then Chris, Chris, Chris. This is a little bit too basic to get married in, babes. <gasps> is it too whimsical? <laughs> is there even such thing? I could give him a little mint coat. Top hill tails and coat. <gasps> Look how cute he looks with his little ribbon. Uh, you better be passing on good jeans to my kids or I swear to God, I will edit them in cast. Don't try me. What about heart? Is the heart too much? Have I taken it too far? I've turned him into the candy man. Take it back a step. That's fine. I know it's still very over the top, but I think it's cute. Okay, so despite the fact the house is a wreck, our life is a wreck, your needs are a wreck. Oh my gosh, please at least use a toilet. The wedding will be fun, so that will sort that out. Everything else you're gonna have to wait. I am gonna go ahead and get the show on the road. This is such a late wedding. <gasps> wait. Isn't a wedding a thousand pounds? But I'm getting married here. Maybe if you get married at home, you don't have to pay a thousand pounds. We'll see. <gasps> Jason! Stealing my thunder! My birthday heart is happening right now. Jason, no. Jason, don't you dare. We are best friends. I swear to God. I swear to God. Wedding. <gasps> it's a thousand pounds. But I'm getting married at home. Do one more, quick! Get outside and clone that object right now. Oh, guys, it stopped working. It stopped working. No! This is gonna be such a disaster. Oh, yes! Okay, sell it, sell it, sell it. Oh my gosh, one more. I need one more. Oh, yes! Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. I still definitely feel like I've cheated the system, but you guys said it was okay. So, okay, guests. Jason, Maria, Christina, apparently we're friends with nowadays. <gasps> Dr. Dreamy. Dr. McDreamy is allowed to come. Jason and his husband. These people we work with as well. We can't technically have a caterer or a mixologist or a musician. And we also don't have wedding cake, so we're just gonna push past that. Have it at our place to save on money. And boom. We should be good. We should be good. Get into your rig out. Get into your rig outs, guys. Girls, get into your cute dresses, please. I want to see cute dress action. Yep, cute. And you as well. Nice. Okay, and I never really look forward to weddings because in The Sims, they're just, they're hard, okay? They're really, really hard to get right. But I'm going to try and give it my all, okay? Let's change this to romance. Nice vibes. Okay, please, everyone. Wait, should I put the kids there first? Okay, I'll put the one child. I'll put Rose on this. And you put... Scarlet here. And then the kids are outside ready to watch. So that's good. We got the cute little pool here in the background with fishies coming out. Everything's lit beautifully. We're putting the children outside. Toddlers, please stay here. Please, for the love of God, just stay here. It will make my life so much easier. And then I'm going to try and get everybody else outside. Oh, where's this child going immediately? No, forget playing. Sit. It's not time to play. It's time to sit and watch us get married. Look, every all the guests are coming. <gasps> oh my gosh. Our receptionist, Dala, is definitely also pregnant. Christopher, what are you doing? Just leave the children alone. What is he doing? Stop picking and putting up the children. Everyone is behaving except that you, Christopher. Leave them alone. We're gonna get married. No, Dara, I know you're pregnant, babes, but don't. No, everyone was doing so well. Christopher, I swear to God, I'm getting so angry at you. Stop picking up the stupid kids. Oh my gosh, I can't with this game. I can't with this game. Chris is off to bed. No, guys, please sit. We're gonna get married. What are you doing, Chris? I had both the kids sat then and you've ruined it. You've ruined it, Chris. Okay, it's happening. It's happening. And both the kids are watching. Both the kids are watching. Some people, okay, people are doing movie seats, but oh, 
Toddlers. Toddlers! Just sit and watch the stupid wedding. As the words are good. Sit. You sit. You sit. This wedding is happening. This one, we don't leave anyone at the aisle. This is just a complete normal wedding. So please just enjoy. Okay, there we go. The kids do be sitting. Everyone do be watching. Jason and his husband seem to have had some kind of domestic, but they've come back to sit and watch, which is great. It's cold, so we need to get the show on the road. And there we go. We're actually getting married. And are people sitting and watching? What, Dara? Okay, you can sit if you want. She's, um, she's pregnant. We're just not even gonna question it, but there we go. We're getting married in our little garden. Dara, sit down. I know you're pregnant, but they're okay. There we go. She's sitting. She's sitting. The toddlers do be wilding, but you've just got to come to expect it at this point. You have just got to expect it. I didn't mean to go fast forward there. I was trying to zoom in, but there we go. We fast forwarded. And are you guys married? Is that it? Are you married? Did we do this? I think we did this. Yes! Guys, we're married. We're married. Love day is over. Oh my gosh. We finished the wedding literally as love day finished. Love Day wasn't up to Christopher's expectations. Chris, you got married. You got married! How does that not fulfill Love Day expectations, okay? How? How, how, how? But we're married. Everybody watched. The toddlers watched. We looked super mint vibes and it was very cute, if not very stressful. Okay, she's immediately wanting to go to bed. However, no, that's not how this works. We have toddlers. Oh, one of the toddlers is putting itself to sleep. Okay, fair play. Can we put the other one to sleep as well? Oh, the other one's being fed. Okay. And that was it, guys. That was our wedding. I'm sorry it was short and sweet, but we did not have much money. And also it was very late and we wanted to do a love day wedding, which we did. Okay, hopefully the guests enjoyed it. I'm just impressed that we at least got toddlers to sit and eat. I don't know where people are getting food from. Like honestly, fair play to you because we don't have a cooker. Once I sell all this wedding stuff, we will at least be able to get ourselves a cooker back. However, I think once we put little toddler stuff in the garden here, it's gonna look so cute. Like the house is coming together. Remember what it was. Remember what it was. And look at it now. I think it's getting getting vibey and cute. I need to get rid of the cloning machine because honestly, it is mad cheats. It is mad cheats. Why are you sad? Awful holiday? Is this guy for real? Is he wanting the fastest divorce ever? I thought we were going to do wedding day woo-woos, but you're talking yourself out of this. And uh, Trenton, Trenton, get off my child's bed. Thanks for coming. And also, good night and God bless. It's 4 a.m. This is a late, late wedding. It's over, gang. It's over. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers. <gasps> and two toddlers in bed. Two toddlers do be in bed. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Tuck those in. And let's do some wedding day woo-woos. And oh my gosh, look, Rex. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. in the morning. They finally get to do their wedding day woo-woos. Okay. It was a wreck, but that is pretty much on course for a Claire Chivon wedding. Hopefully you guys like the venue that we built and what will now become our garden once we clear out all of this wedding furniture. And you guys, hopefully you're starting to like the house. I do like the house. I mean, I want to sort out the front a little bit more, but it is starting to grow on me and I hope it is growing on you guys as well. And if you enjoyed this recce wedding episode, it was never gonna go any other way, I'm afraid. Please go ahead and give this a cheeky thumbs up. If you know which crystal or element I have but isn't in my collection, it's got a purple thing underneath. Please let me know because I will try and find it because I want to complete my little collection because I think it looks really cool. And I think in the next episode, would you like me to age up the toddlers? Let me know. They've been toddlers for a couple of episodes now and they've more or less maxed out their skills. There's not a great deal left for them to do. I'm also really excited to see how they're gonna look. Once we age them up a little bit so if you guys would like me to do that let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another video bye